Howdy folks, Brett here. Having diagnostic software on your PC to diagnose a slow computer, check its health, and a myriad of other reasons can help to make sure that you're getting the most out of your hardware. So coming up, I'll show you five free diagnostic apps that do come in handy to let you know what's going on inside of your computer to help you keep it running at its full potential. Let's get started. Up first is Microsoft PC Manager. This is what I mentioned recently in our free software series. While most of the programs coming up are for power users, IT pros, etc., this one is easy enough that everyone can use it. Not only is it great to diagnose the health of your PC, it can also help you to fix those issues too. Their PC Boost feature can help you to free up space and clean up your computer to help it run more smoothly. The Storage Management feature can help to free up storage for you as well. A good place to start after opening it is to run a health check by clicking on it. This will find any potential issues and let you know what you need to fix. This may take a couple minutes for it to complete. When it's done, it says here, some issues need improvement. Please clean and maintain your PC as soon as possible. It shows that space can be freed up. There's more than a thousand usage traces that need to be cleaned. One startup item is affecting the boot time. It's recommending that I restore some of the default settings. Four long unused apps can be uninstalled, and it shows the network status is normal. If you tick the boxes, of which there's only three here to actually tick, afterwards select Optimize Now, and it'll fix three of those issues. You can also click into these to find out what the issues are. For example, with this issue to free up space, I can just click on Clean. In our beginner's guide, we take a deeper dive in how to use it, the link to that video is in the description. Microsoft PC Manager is available to download and install from the Microsoft Store for both Windows 10 and Windows 11. If you need a detailed, comprehensive overview of the hardware on your computer, HW Info is a great diagnostic tool for use by professionals and power users. It provides extensive information about your hardware. It's even used by NASA to monitor computer systems for failures. In addition to in-depth hardware information, it also has real-time system monitoring to show you the actual status to be more aware of when to upgrade hardware or troubleshoot an issue. The user interface can be overwhelming to new users, so I'll show you a couple things real quickly. Depending on how you have it set up, you'll have a separate window with your system summary of your key components. If you don't need this window, you can close it out or move it. Along the left, selecting any component will give you additional information to the right. The standard installer is available for Windows 11, going all the way back to Windows 7. There's also two portable versions available, one for Windows 95 or later, and another one for DOS. HW Info is available to use for free for both personal and non-commercial use. In commercial environments, it does require a pro license that starts at $29 per year, and they also have a lifetime license for $199. Having issues with your RAM can be a huge problem, especially right now with the high price of memory. Memtest 86 Plus is a free and open source memory testing tool that comes in handy when you suspect memory problems and will let you know if your RAM is defective or not. Due to how RAM functions, this tool cannot be executed properly within the Windows environment. Instead, you need to create a bootable USB drive using a formatted drive. It's important that the drive is blank. The website provides instructions for this process. After preparing the USB drive, restart your computer and boot from the removable USB drive to initiate the test. When it's done, you'll end up with a results screen similar to these screenshots I've been showing you. If you want to learn more about how Memtest 86 Plus works and get additional information, they have a full README available on their site. Crystal Disk Info is a longtime trusted free utility with the option to donate that monitors the health and status of your computer's storage drives, including hard disk drives and solid disk drives. It reads self-monitoring, analysis, and reported technology data to provide information on a drive's health status, temperature, power on hours, and other key metrics like the number of reallocated sectors. If you have more than one drive, which most of you do, you can click here at the top to switch between drives there are full tutorials online that will teach you exactly how to use this. I'll just point out a couple things. You can change the theme if you want. I'll go with dark. The default temperature is in Celsius. 
To switch it to Fahrenheit, go to Function, Advanced Feature, Temperature Type, and select Fahrenheit. Crystal Disk Info is available for Windows XP up to Windows 11 and for Windows Server 2003 up to Windows Server 2025. In addition to x86 and x64, it now supports ARM. The developer is Japanese and really into anime. If you're not into cartoon characters on the user interface of your software, then I'd recommend downloading the Standard Edition. I'll mention this briefly. If you want to quickly analyze what is taking up space on your drives, my preferred program is TreeSize from the folks at Jam Software. With its graphs, it's easy to identify what large files are taking up the space without having to manually search your computer's files and folders. It also lets you easily mass delete, move, archive files, and even lets you bulk rename files. TreeSize is freemium software. For private, non-commercial use, it's free and does have plans with additional features for around $2 per month. Another disk space analyzer that's popular with some of my friends is WizTree. Both are great programs and are better than what's built into Windows. WizTree is also free for personal use. To help support the development, you can purchase a supporter code license with pricing that starts at a one-time fee of just $25. Thanks for watching. If this video was useful for you, give it a thumbs up and share it with others. What free diagnostic apps do you use on your computer? Let us know about them in the comments. And if you're new to our channel, subscribe and make sure to click the bell to not miss out on our latest free software videos and other tech-related stuff here on Brett in Tech.